Hey, good morning, everybody. Today's October 24th, 2024. And I wanted to come and share a dream that I had this morning with you guys. It's a warning dream. And I pray to God Almighty, in the name of Jesus Christ, that you take this warning very seriously. If your spiritual house is a mess, you only have seconds to clean it up. You literally only have seconds to clean it up before the war starts. In my dream, I am in this, I think it's, it's, it's like a business, a business and a house at the same time. Like some people have an office in their house. And I'm inside this, in this, in this building, in this structure, and it is a mess. It's a straight up mess. Oh my gosh. Even the children inside the house were filthy. They were, they were a mess. They weren't even right. Okay. Very unclean children. Uh, the, the occupants of this whole place were not clean. They were disorganized and disheveled and there was just trash and stuff everywhere and the children had wiped nasty filthy things all over the walls with their hands and it was an absolute mess and I was in there with this uh, other lady and I believe if I remember correctly it was my one of my old school teachers Miss Peggy and uh, we were um, discussing about cleaning it up you know we were there to help these people get their house in order to clean it up. Well, all of a sudden, we heard these loud explosions outside. And I, we, I said, what's that? What's that? We said that to each other, like, what's that? We, we was just startled because it was just all of a sudden. It was just out of nowhere, these explosions outside. Went outside, look up in the air, and the bombs were bursting in air. Boom 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 I'm like the war has started and I had to go I had to leave okay this dream is saying very clearly you have only moments to clean up your spiritual house if you are somebody who is playing games with God the Father if you're still indulging in fulfilling the lust and desires of your flesh if you are um, thinking that you can still continue to dabble in the world and um, you got plenty of time to get yourself well I just want to do this one last thing and then I'll repent then I'll get right with the Lord oh I haven't repented yet because you know I still got things I want to do and and I don't want to play games with God so I'm just gonna just keep doing what I want to do and then I'll, I'll get myself right later because I still want to go do this and I still want to go do that Look, you're in a losing game. You are playing a game you're going to lose. You cannot win playing games with the Father. You cannot. Okay? I'm telling you, this was an all of a sudden event. You know, if you're caught up in the stupid politics of this world, um, if you're one of these Christians who are all wrapped up in make America great again and that you can... Uh, <laughs> oh, boy. If you believe certain elements of these lies uh, that America is going to be great again I'm sorry you've been greatly deceived okay there's this one um, I'm in a lot of traffic this morning there's this one pastor well no he's not a pastor this one false prophet a false prophet I'm saying it right here to your face he's a false prophet the one who's talking about Donald Trump got I saw him got shot in the ear and he's gonna repent he got on his knees and he had a great coming to Jesus moment no he did not I don't care what he's saying and many of you are gonna just be like um, oh well you know because you choose to believe him you choose to believe that America is gonna be great again and that Donald Trump's of God and all like this he is he is wicked just like the rest of them okay right wing left wing they are both of the same bird they, they push the agenda of Satan I'm telling you now don't be deceived into anything that the devil has put here as tactics to distract you and tactics to uh, take your loyalty away from God the Father. 
uh, through his son Jesus Christ because there is no other way to God the Father only through Jesus Christ so I know I've just really pricked a lot of you <laughs> I have really irritated a lot of you especially talking about Donald Trump okay I'm not Donald Trump I'm not for Biden or Harris I'm I God took me out of politics long ago long ago he showed me how evil and wicked it all is okay so if you haven't been shown that, that's because you're not seeking the face of God. You're seeking the face of man. You're, seek, you're seeking uh, your government. You're seeking the kings of the earth. Okay? And I'm telling you right now, you only got a mo matter of moments before this war will all of a sudden start. And then if you're found with a messy spiritual house, you're going to be left behind. And then you're going to have a whole new can of worms you're going to have to deal with, okay? You're going to have to make choices of you're going to take the mark of the beast or not. You're, you're going to have to be martyred for Jesus Christ. Which, you know, you have a, you, those, those tribulation saints, they wash their robes white during the great tribulation. Why not do it now? Why wait? Why not do it now? Why procrastinate? Because I can promise you one thing. You are going to be so mad at yourself because you have been on YouTube and you've been hearing all these videos and these warnings and all this stuff, words that the Lord gave to people to say. And you've heard it all. You discounted so much. And because of that, you got left behind. But every word you ever heard, you're going to remember it then. And you're going to be so upset with yourself. All right. So just wanted to tell you that. God bless you. God bless your family. God bless your animals on this day. Goodbye.